You ever went to pull your dipstick out to check your oil and this is what you got? Maybe it's your car, maybe it's a used car. Um, yeah, could be a big problem because then you have the rest of the tube or the rest of the dipstick stuck inside the tube. So here's what we normally do. What we normally do is we come inside the tube and we take a 1 8 drill bit, normally on a drill. Normally it's a short one because normally your pieces broke off right at the top. We drill a little hole in it and we take a sheetrock screw like this. Uh, you can either use this style, that's a coarse thread sheetrock screw, or sometimes it's a little easier with a fine thread sheetrock screw. But the sheetrock screw works the best because, you know, a fat screw like this is just going to be too big. These are really thin um, and sharp and extremely, they bite extremely good into the plastic. So what you do is take your drill bit, drill down in there just a little bit. If it's right there at the top, uh, drill inside of it a little bit, make a little hole. Careful not to crumble it all to crap and uh, then screw your sheetrock screw in and pull it out. Now, where we're at, what happens whenever you go to put the drill bit on it like Seth did earlier, and it pushes it down in there actually, like you can't even get it to drill because it just keeps going down in the tube. Well, you need to stop. So what we've done is we've took the heat shield off. We removed our heat shield, pulled that all off, and then took some vice grips. Uh, Mike actually come up with uh, this idea. Put a little pressure on the tube, that way he can hold the plastic piece that you see, you can see it down in there if I can get it to focus. Mike, it don't even look like you got a hole in it hardly. No, yeah, it does right there in the center, the bright yeah. yellow stuff, okay. Some of that crap still stuck in a hole. Yeah, so we had tried some panel bond first, but uh, you don't want to get the hole clogged up. So you can see right there in that bright yellow down there in the center, that's where he's put a hole in there. Um, but it's went so far down, he didn't want it to go more, so he just put a little pressure on the tube. And now he's took a screw, uh, welded it together. I'll show you what we got. So we've took two sheetrock screws and cut them in half, cut the head off of this one, and Mike's about to weld them together. That way you can have a really long screw, but have the uh, the bite of a sheetrock screw. Because if you use another like screw or something, or bolt, it might be too big and it might not bite. That sheetrock screw has a fine thread on the end of it, so you'll have the bite of that sheetrock screw. So now that the screw is uh, welded all together, Yep, now that the screw's welded all together, it's extra long because a normal sheetrock screw is not gonna go that deep. So now we'll take this contraction, is it hot? It's a little warm. It's a little warm. Now look at this, we gotta, it won't even focus, are they? Focus on your hand, it should focus on the screw. There you go. How you get so smart, Mike? No, I don't know. So now we got an extra long sheetrock screw. So we're gonna watch Mike try to do this. That way I can videotape. I'm busy. Actually, I'll try to see if I can get it to start biting with my hand. So I'm gonna just start it with my hand and I can feel it already biting, but it's not locked onto it. I don't think we got a deep enough hole. No, that might be it right there. Nope. All right, we'll pull it out. Strip it. So it might cut the tip off of it. Just barely screw it in your hand. Come on, baby. Oh, she slipped out. Mm -hmm. Oh, but she's seen it pull all the powder out. Yeah. It so it definitely was in the hole. Put that back down there. Clamp her down, Mikey. All you're trying to do is get it to bite into that plastic. It wants to. It might help if you take the vice grips off. Oh, it pulled it plastic broke, it out. It plastic that time. She's a brittle one. That's yeah, that's the number that's one common when you do these things is that they're brittle. That's the reason why they break. Did you show another end of it? Yeah. How about if you take the vice grips off? Because they're not needed now. Oh, you just don't want it to push it down too low. Down. Yeah, but that's technically squeezing the tube. Down at the bottom. Oh, it's below it? I mean, this piece is right there. Oh, oh, oh. I'm squeezing oh. it way down there. Oh, okay. See, like that, I just push it back down and actually that. And our hole is no longer there. So we're gonna try to drill deeper. Yep.
See, it broke more plastic. So we're gonna try some more panel bond? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so being that don't work, normally that will work. We've had success with that literally every single time. This is the first time that we have not had success with it. That'll work. That will do, Jimmy. Here you go. Hold that. So we're just gonna use this panel bond real fast if you have something like this. Mike also was gonna use super glue, but he doesn't have any, so super glue might work. So this stuff is quick set 50, uh, working time 45 seconds, set time 50 seconds, and cure time 15 minutes. The thing with this stuff when you're using this is you've got to make sure it's mixed up. I went over it in the other videos, it has to purge. Because when it first comes out, it's not going to be mixed. Whoa. Mm -hmm. A little splooge. That's too much. Hey, I just need to make sure that it's... That we have enough to mix and then just take it make sure you actually mix some hardener in with it you want that? Yep. and if you don't have panel bond around like i said you can use uh jb weld will even work so you can go to your local parts store and get uh jb weld or something you know that's a fast set and we'll see if this works if he can get it down actually to drip into that hole it'll help bite where all that stuff is crumbled and you can actually screw it in there where you can actually fill it where it's down in the hole that's in the hole okay so then we're just gonna let it sit so put the timer on for 15 minutes and let it sit and you can also save your stuff right here uh, on this and you'll be able to touch this here in 15 minutes or so and check to see how this set up because if this is setting up then that in the tube is probably setting up also all right so we're gonna try to pull this back out yeah yeah i think that's what right yeah pop them pliers off real fast and then just try to carefully pull that out it's probably gonna break off it's gonna be a Yeah, I think Mike bit the tube. Uh, that's literally what it feels like. Cause I mean, it's like, I feel like it's coming, but it's got a lot of resistance in there. Either that or some of that panel bond bit to the side of it. Look at that, y'all. There's what she looks like. Let me take this outside in the sun so I can show y'all. That's why they say you get a longer dipstick because this thing is pushed all the way down and then now the oil's yeah. way past it. <laughs> God. So I'm gonna take you out here in the sun so you can see what we got better in light, okay? That way you can understand a little easier. So here's what we're working with, okay? So it actually crumbled so bad that the drill bit actually hit the plastic on the side. And then we were able to use the panel bond. See, it was just crumbling. I mean, there's no way that that was gonna bite. If you can get your drill bit dead center, then you have a better chance. The problem is, is your metal dipstick is dead center so it always don't work like that a lot of times it wants to kick your drill bit over to the side so the panel bond worked great uh we actually let it dry overnight me and eddie actually come in today it's on saturday to do a couple things I'm about to film another quick video for y'all and get back to the house uh he's working on one of his projects but uh just wanted to go ahead and try to get this out and show y'all you can actually see get it to focus you can actually see the panel bond right there how it come out of the threads Okay. And like I said, if you don't have panel bond, JB Weld, you know, work also. You could probably also use super glue. You just want something that's not too watery. Like, you know, be careful with super glue because if it was right here, my thumbs at, if it was to run down the side of this, then you're literally going to pretty much glue your dipstick into your tube. So panel bond's a little thicker, just like a JB Weld be a little thicker. And we did not put a lot on the threads. We just put a little bit so that hopefully it won't ooze out. Because like I said, you don't want to glue this to the tube, or then you are taking your tube out. So if you got a stu stuck dipstick or you have a friend or a neighbor that has a stuck dipstick in there and you don't want to pay a mechanic a lot of money, this is an excellent trick that you can use. You know, hopefully you'll get yours right the first time with a sheet rock screw before you have to go to this extreme. Um you know but this it don't always work like that obviously and this is actually the very first time we've had one fall this deep normally we can get them right there at the top with just one sheetrock screw they don't go down i don't know what the deal with this one was but that's that like comment subscribe and share thanks y'all